Now to a 12 response follow up. The day after the Rhode Island Department of Revenue announced it will be taxing unemployment benefits in full, two state representatives began drafting legislation to change that. 12 News consumer reporter Gina Marini spoke with one of the lawmakers to understand why she thinks the state should exempt some benefits from taxation. These lawmakers argue Rhode Island should be following the lead of the federal government on this issue to help Rhode Islanders struggling during the pandemic. We need to make our citizens as whole as possible. A deputy speaker of the Rhode Island House of Representatives, Charlene Lima, tells me Monday, she wrote legislation with Representative David Morales, which creates an unemployment state tax exemption. It mirrors the federal tax exemption that Congress just enacted. For people who collected unemployment, the first $10,200 would not be taxable. Lima says Rhode Island is receiving more than a billion dollars in federal funding made available through the American Rescue Plan Act and says eliminating tax on a portion of unemployment benefits will help Rhode Islanders who've already suffered hardship from the pandemic. They would have an extra five to six hundred dollars. Um, by not having to pay the state tax on it. And I think we should try to get into people's hands every dollar that we possibly can. We reached out to the governor's office. A spokesperson says, quote, Governor McKee wants to provide Rhode Islanders with as much relief as possible during this pandemic. He and his team look forward to reviewing Deputy Speaker Lima's legislation. Senate Republicans announced Tuesday they also plan to draft similar legislation. According to CNBC, Rhode Island and Massachusetts are two of only 13 states that fully tax unemployment benefits. Lima says the legislation will be introduced in the House next week. It's too soon to say whether it will pass a General Assembly, but she says she's received support from several other representatives. Gina Marini, 12 News.